As business owners, we inevitably go through some personal hardships in our lives, right? And especially if you are someone who works online in the online space, in a service-based um, industry such as coaching or hypnosis, um, and you market in social media, it becomes very difficult to show up um, online, especially if you're going through um, challenges like these. And I know that there are times when you don't want to show up. Um, and there were definitely a lot of times of that over the past year. So, you know, today I wanted to share with you the things that I did to help me still show up for myself, really, uh, and in my business um, to really um, continue to be the, the determined person who I truly am and continue to show up for the business and continue to show up for clients who needed my service. Now, obviously nothing is perfect, right? So I just wanted to talk to you about the top down and bottom up approach that I use to, um, to help me go through and navigate the challenging times of my life as a business owner with an online business where visibility uh, is something uh, that is quite needed in order to, to um, survive, right? And so what does a top-down approach or bottom-up approach, well, like what, what does that mean? Um, and so, you know, one of the best things that we can do for ourselves in terms of our mental and emotional health as business owners is to, um, to really allow ourselves to do things holistically, right? Um, the more holistic we are with our approaches, the more avenues we get to explore and more opportunities for growth, right? So a top-down approach is when you use your mind to influence your body. Um, and a bottom-up approach is when you use your body to influence your mind, your thoughts, um, and you know your emotions, because we feel our emotions in our body. We think thoughts through our mind, right? Um, and so having the, these two approaches has really like really rocket fueled uh, the personal development and self development that I have made uh, over the past year to year and a half. And so um, let's start with the top down approach. The top down approach is uh, using your mind to influence your body, right? So any mindset practices, uh, mindfulness practices, maybe it's journaling for you. Um, maybe it's something that you've learned, a mindset tool that you have learned in your uh, development journey. That is a big one, but it's top down approaches are when you're using your mind to influence the rest of your body. Um, and, you know, meditation is one of this, uh, one of these things. Self hypnosis is one of these things. Um, and being an advanced conversational hypnosis um, practitioner, uh, this is what I mostly used. Um, now I'm a trainer, so um, now I get to help uh, people with a really, really powerful top-down approach. This was what I used. So if I was, you know, if I was very much aware of the thoughts that I was having that were not um, very helpful or serving my um, purpose and what I wanted to do and it wasn't aligned with my goals that I used self-hypnosis I would seek help from um, fellow ACH practitioners to really help me drill down into the uh, mental blind spots that I was having so using you know that top-down approach has really helped you know my mind um, allow me and my mind to control what is happening in my body and my emotions that I felt through my body. And, you know, the the nervous system, uh, fight or flight response that happens, using my mind to really help me control that. That was one approach. So having that one skill for you um, or several tools in your toolbox is going to be very helpful. You know, I've been around the block and trained in a lot of subconscious rare modalities, now, for the most part, I use uh, ACH, I would say 80%. Um, and the other 20% are the things that I've learned um, in my travels and from other coaching programs uh, that I'm in. Um, and then so that's the top to bottom approach. And then the bottom up approach um, is using your body to influence your mind. And so these are, you know, practices such as movement, right? Movement, exercising, um, yoga is, is one of them. So using your body, our bodies um, need to move, right? As humans, our bodies are built to move um, every day, even multiple times a day, Um for, for any for any matter, right? And so by being able to allow the movement, our body to um, 
move our body, it also influenced the thoughts we think. We all know about the amazing endorphin rush that we feel after we move, after we exercise, right? And so by combining these two practices, that was what really helped me ground down and still continue to show up. There were times where I didn't uh, because, you know, I am human and um, at, at, at the same time, that was what was needed at that time. And so, you know, what is that for you? Like, what is going to be uh, the top bottom approach that you commit to yourself uh, when it comes to your healing, right? Um, and what is the bottom up approach? And how are you going to commit to moving your body um, so that it influences the thoughts that you think so that you do get that endorphin rush afterwards? And then it helps you to take action um, towards where you want to go, right? Um, so really definitely think of that. And, you know, these are for in terms of the, my bottom up approach, I actually just started, you know, lifting weights at the very beginning. And then I rediscovered my passion for yoga. So by rediscovering my passion for yoga, I was able to have that bottom up approach of moving my body to influence my thoughts and having conversational hypnosis to do the top down approach of my mind influencing my body. This um, perfect combination, this harmony as um, is what really just helps me or and is still helping me go through um, difficult times. It's really amazing when you find your find something that clicks with you um, because then it's really powerful. You can kind of like just go back and forth and do both at the same time and really allow yourself to now shift and to get back on the horse faster than you did. Um, that's really the the point of it, right? It's all about uh, the progress, right? It's, it's not about being perfect. It's not about getting off the horse. It's how many times you get back up and, you know, it, and if there's progress into the amount of time, the duration that you fell, fall, fall off the horse to getting back on the horse. Um, and really that's, that's what life is about, right? Sometimes, you know, you go through a period of time where like, it's just a day, a day you go get back on the horse. And then one time it like knocks you really off your feet, even though you've been doing the work and it knocks you off for seven days. You know, that's that happened to me recently. <laughs> so um, being able to also find um, compassion and radical self-acceptance during these times uh, is also something that I am beginning to embody and really um, start to um, incorporate every day and every second of every day in my life. So when you're able, again, to find what works for you, have, you know, a top bottom approach and then a bottom up approach by moving your body to influence your mind and having a mindfulness practice um, and, you know, self mind healing practice of conscious work uh, that you can use from top to bottom, plus having um, the self acceptance, radical self acceptance acceptance. Uh, this is really what is going to help you move past the difficult times um, and sort of, you know, not see it as a burden and see it as an opportunity, a challenge um, and kind of welcome it because there are so many things to be learned from fucking up and making mistakes that, um, you know, I used to really run away from this <laughs> before, but now uh, every challenge I can see now as an opportunity because of the work that I've done, because I trust myself now and being able to get back on the horse um, and not allowing myself to like take a fork and like stab it, <laughs> stab it towards me. That's what I used to do. I'll take a fork and like sabotage and I'll just like stab myself with it, right? Metaphorically. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, being able to really have that self-compassion and acceptance is also good while you're going through um, all of this. And so if you are going through a hard time, my heart is um, my heart is giving you healing vibes as well. Um, but really, the important thing is that you control your your reality. Right. You have the choice. You the only thing you can control is yourself. So how are you going to find um, and use a practice for yourself that helps your mind to control your body and your body contr to control your mind. Because again, so, so powerful if you're able to have this and the amount of peace and ease that I have in my life, despite the chaos, like I'm not going to lie, everything is chaotic <laughs> right now in terms of like my life. Uh, but at the same time, there's some inner peace and ease and effortlessness at times when it comes to dealing with this because of um, truly finding that combination that works for me um, by listening to my intuition. So I hope this helps you. Um, and if you have any questions at all, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you soon.